subject math chapter number 3 three digit numbers so in our previous part we had learned how to form three digit number what is the place value of three digit number now we are going to start about the expanded notation okay so our topic is expanded notation what is the expanded notation so that is if you are writing a number like this so you just have to expand this number how you will expand that all are about the 435 we are reading this number or we are pronouncing this number as 435 so whenever you are pronouncing the three digit number what you have to do you first have to read aloud the first number with the 100 and last two number together okay so 400 and 35 together make 35 so here we will write 400 plus 3 obviously 3 is on the place of tens right as we are writing 430 and 5 so 400 plus 3 tens Right and plus five ones. So this is called the expanded notation. What you have to you just have to write the number with its proper place. That four stands in the hundred place. That means four hundred. Three stands in the tens place. That means three tens plus five in the place of one. So we will write five ones. so this is the expanded notation same thing you have to do whatever number is given to you okay so now we will see examples of this this is 135 right so what you have to do you have to fill the boxes or you can say fill the blanks whatever is given in your textbook it is given to you like this blank hundreds plus blank tens plus blank ones and after this what you have to do for most time is that there are three box given to you is equal to blank so these all things are called expanded notation okay so 135 so as you know in the place of 100 one is there so you have to fill one because one is on the place of 100 now we'll move to the tens place In the tens place, three is there, so you will write number three. And in the ones place, five is there, so you will write number five, right? So this thing only you have to do. You have to just put the numbers according to it the proper place. Now what we will do here? Yes, now first two and second, three boxes are here. First, second, and third boxes, right? So first is the hundred, so one hundred. So we will write one hundred over here. Okay? What we will do? We will write one hundred. Then three tens. Three tens. That means yes, that is thirty plus five ones. Five ones. That is five. Now after doing all the things, which number will form? Form some number form what? So one hundred thirty five. So we will write it like this: one hundred thirty-five. So these all things you have to do whenever expanded notation is given to you. Okay. We'll see one more example: seven hundred ninety. So blank hundreds plus blank tens plus blank ones. Right, and after that, three boxes are given to you. Okay, so now we will see which number is on the hundred place. Seven. So you will write seven number over here. Now in the tens place, nine is there, and in the place of one, zero is there. So you have to just put zero over there. Now seven hundred. That means you have to write here seven hundred. Okay, moving to the next. So that is nine tens. Nine tens. That means ninety. Okay. 
plus zero ones to zero itself. Okay, so seven hundred ninety. So here you can find in the ones place zero is given. So zero अगर दिया है तो आपको वहाँ पे zero ही place करना है. Okay, so your answer will be seven hundred ninety. Okay, so so after completing the expanded notation, we will learn about the place value. Place value. This concept already clear in the chapter number one and two, where we had learned about the two-digit numbers. Right? You are writing the place value of two-digit number like this. If I am asking for the place value of five, you will write five because it stands on the ones place. But if I will ask for the place value of two number, as it is stands on the number ten. So it is a twenty. Why? Because two stands in the tens place. Okay. Same thing you have to do in the three digit numbers. Three digit. Okay. So what are we doing? We are having three places: hundred, tens, and ones. If I will write number five hundred forty five. So what you have to do? You have to just write the place value. This is of the hundreds place, so I can say that five's place value is five. Why? Because it stands on the number place ones. Now it's turn of tens place. In the place of ten, four is given to you. That means it will be forty. Why forty? Because it stands in the place of tens. Now after tens, we will move to the hundred place. And in the place of hundred, five is given, and that is stands in the hundred place. So we will write its place value five hundred. Okay. So by this you will come to know whenever the number is on the place of hundred, you just need to put two zeros after the number which is given on that place. And the number is in the tens place. You have to put one zero. As you can see in the ten, one zero is there, so you can put one zero after the number which is given on the tens place. And in the ones, as we are writing one, the one is not having any zero, so we will not write any zero wherever the number is on the ones place. Clear? Example: four hundred five. Yes. What is next? Yes, that is four hundred five. So what we have to do? We have to just write the place value of each number. Okay. So here you can see in the ones place five number is there. So its place value will be five. As I told you that whatever number is stands on the ones place, its place value will be remain same. Now move to the tens place. Now zero is there, and as I told you before, that wherever zero, you can find zero. So you have to put zero over there because its place value will be zero. Next, in the hundred place, four is there, so its place value will be four hundred. Okay, so this is how you can solve the questions of the place value. And yes, this is the way you will find the place value of every number. Okay. Now after the place value, face value will come. What is the face value? Face value that means whatever the number is there at any place. For example, I will write here face value. So that is face value. That means as I say, for example, I will write here five hundred forty-five. If I am asking the face value of four, so here you can see it's on the tens place, right? But in the face value, we are not writing forty. We will keep the same number. In the face value, number will remain same. Either it is of hundreds place, either it is of tens place, either it is of ones place. And if I want to write the face value of number five. I will write five, and if I want to write this five's face value, that will also remain five. That means face 
वैल्यू विल रिमेन सेम वेर एवर द नंबर इज नंबर कहीं पे भी हो बट उसकी फेस वैल्यू वही सेम नंबर रहेगा ओके एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ प्लेस वैल्यू आई विल राइट योर फाइव इन सिक्स हंड्रेड फोर्टी फाइव सो वॉट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव गिवन द क्वेश्चन लाइक दिस आपको ऐसे क्वेश्चन दिया जाएगा एंड वॉट यू हैव टू डू यू जस्ट हैव टू राइट द प्लेस वैल्यू इन द पर्टिकुलर बॉक्स राइट सो फाइव इन सिक्स हंड्रेड फोर्टी फाइव here you can see that five number is on the ones place so its place value will same okay next number 0 in 408 now here you can see where is the zero yes it is on the tens place we will write zero because wherever the zero will be there it place value will remain zero only Number three, nine in nine hundred forty-eight. So here you can see nine. Where is the nine number? It is on the hundred place. So its place value will be nine hundred. Okay. Number four, six in six hundred forty-seven. So here you can find six number is in the place of hundred. So here you will write six hundred. Okay. Next example. Seven in one hundred seventy eight. So here you can see what you have to do. You just have to write the place value. Seven. Where it is? Yes, it is on the tenth place. So it will be seventy. Number six, eight in eight hundred three. So here you can find the eight is on the hundred place. So we will write its place value as eight hundred. Okay. Next example, eight in seven hundred eighty two. So now eight is on the tens place. So you will write. Eight zero eighty. Okay, and the last example zero in five hundred forty. Five hundred forty. I have to zero the place. We will write zero cents in the ones place. So we will write zero over here. So this is how you have to write the place value. Okay. So here we have completed our video, and in this video we have learned about the expanded notation and the place value. So thank you for watching my video stay home stay safe